Hey guys! Today we're about to talk about the ego. And this is a topic that I just absolutely love because everyone has it and it's affected on everyone. And I've been struggling a lot with mine. So uh, it's gonna be nice to talk about and I just love this topic. Yeah. Yeah. Even though you know it and aware of it or you're not, this runs your whole life. So the brain works like this. You have the subconscious mind and you have the conscious mind. Your ego is the one that keeps telling you stuff that you can't do this and you won't make it in this and you're not successful enough and you're too old to do this and you're not too handsome to date this girl and your car is too ugly to do that. You know, all that bullshit crap that your brain comes up with. It's the ego. It's the part that identifies you with you. So think about it. Like it separates you from other people and it's your identity. So your identity you created and it's created through time, what you have done. And this ego actually can only take stuff from the past. So it cannot take stuff from the future because it doesn't know anything about it. So when you're supposed to do something, like let's say you're gonna start a business, then your ego gonna say, if you haven't started a business earlier, you're not gonna make it. It's too hard, you're not gonna make money, you cannot do this, you cannot do that, blah, 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 all bullshit crap. It's because it wanna keep you safe, safe for what's out there. And this is a really interesting thing because my ego has been really tricky and I've been aware of it now and it's still like you have to work with it you have to be aware what you think all the time so because it keeps telling you stuff that it's not good so the ego always wants to have control it always want to keep you safe and it doesn't really let you to be you like your true you because your identity is attached to it and if you kind of just want to switch out you want to do something else then it gets confused and they say, hold on, stop here. Now you gotta do what you're always done, know what you always known. And but but you gotta remember one thing here is that you are not your ego and you are not your thoughts. The thoughts has been around for thousands of thousands of years. But it's really easy to attach yourself to the ego. The ego always knows, it thinks it knows everything. And it's a positive and it's a negative side. Do you know which one of these sides actually grows? The negative or the positive? The answer is that one you feed. So if you feed the negative, like with uh, TV, you watch the news all the time and it's killing and death and the world is a bad place. Then your ego is going to tell you that the world is a bad place because that's the only thing he knows. And you're going to feed the negative thing. And then you're going to see stuff negatively. But when you put positive stuff in your head, and you feed this one, it's like a baby. When you feed the baby, it grows. If you don't feed the baby, it dies. So you want to kill this negative side when it's small. Because when it grows big, it's kind of hard to, uh, to, to actually get this other part bigger. Because this side will always try to protect, protect you even more and even more and even more. And say that this people is bad and this is bad and this world is bad. And the, and the gas price is crazy and the world is going to end. And now the climate change is blah 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 and it's blah, 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 all this negative stuff. But when you feed the positive, it's going to be beautiful. Because the world is a good place. And the ego, it wants control. It wants, it wants perfection. And it wants control. It wants control everything. But control is the more you control you're trying to have, the less you will have. Because control is an illusion. You can't control anything. I've been co- trying to control my, my life. Like really, uh, everything around it, it doesn't work. I had to experience myself. And then I just had to surrender to it. And say, okay, I gave up. Control doesn't work. And it's kind of hard. Because the ego takes over and you want to control, 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 control. But you can't have a control because you can't control anyone. Maybe if you put them in a cage or something, I don't know. So the ego is uh, the more you let go and the less ego it will be there, the better it will be. And the ego is running our fears. So you can imagine if you have fear for something that actually got into you when you were a kid, for example, and the ego keeps repeating it, 
because the, what the ego does is that you have a conversation in your head. So when a car passes, you're like, oh, there's a car. And then you answer to yourself, oh, yeah, it's, it's a red one or whatever. Or, you, or you, you, uh, you're passing someone that you, you don't like and you say, oh, that bastard. So you're talking to yourself, that's the ego. And the, the more negative you talk about yourself, less self-worth you will have. And it will be unpleasant. Because usually you're, you're not aware of what's going on. Because the subconscious mind, when you have programmed that, you have a program in the subconscious, it will just keep repeating stuff. So if you really believe in the subconscious that you're ugly, then the conscious mind will work on to find stuff on you and your body that you are ugly. The best way to, to put, it, put yourself in front of the mirror and say, I love you. You're the greatest. You're beautiful. You're awesome. Today you're gonna kick ass because then you program the subconscious mind that you're awesome. But the key here is also what I talked about earlier is about awareness. What do you actually think about? What's going through your mind? What do you think about other people? Well, actually it's a reflection of what you think about yourself. So what do you think about yourself? What do you say to yourself? This ego part is uh, when you can try to manage it better and you're aware of what you're thinking, your life will change. So the ego will find problems on other people, on other things. And it does that only because the brain is, is wired that long time ago, hundreds of thousands of years ago, we need to find, we have to find all the, all the faults on everything and everyone. Because if we didn't, we maybe died. So it's a survival instinct to find that what's actually wrong with other people and other stuff and other cars and whatever things. So that's why this this keeps happening. But when you're aware of it, you can like kind of, mm, I don't know, doesn't matter if you don't need to fix it. And the ego is all about me, 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 me all the time. Because we, when we were kids and we were growing up, it was all about me, 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 me. Because otherwise we didn't survive. So the ego has always been about you and that your needs are getting met. Ego is kind of clingy. It doesn't want to change. And when someone tells you something, you kind of react and say, hey, no, no, no. So this part of you say, why is this motherfucker telling me this, blah, 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 blah. He's a bastard. Instead of taking, taking in the information and solve it. So it kind of want to, it's react in reactive mode all the time. Yeah, so this is a short presentation of what the ego is. And I've been playing a lot with it. And you just get awareness around it. You can do it as well. You just get awareness. What's your thoughts? Write them down. Because otherwise it's running your life. And uh, I've been experiencing it. Now you kind of know. What do you think about yourself? What's your beliefs about you? Is it bad or is it good? It's fun to play with. You see what comes up. You're walking around and you talk this bullshit crap to yourself that is not even true. Then you know. And then you can change it. You have the power to change it. And that's the beautiful part with it. You can change anything. You can choose your thoughts. That's the power, the power of the mind. All right, so this time was about the ego. Next time, we'll see what comes up. Leave a comment or whatever if you wanna uh, share something about the ego and what your thought is about it. Uh, until then, I post and next week there will be a video about something, I don't know. So, see ya.